In this video, we're going to finish creating textures for our PBR material, and we're going to make something called a normal map. I'm here in Photoshop. I'm going to duplicate the same background image that we've been using, and I'm going to call this normal texture. And from that texture with, it, with a layer selected, I'm going to make a new group from layers normal. And what a normal is, is it perturbs the perceived direction and orientation of a polygon in a rendering engine, uh, meaning it adjusts it to create the illusion of irregularities, of bumps, of surface features where there are none in the model. So we can have a very simple 3D model, a low resolution model with very few polygons, but have it appear to be much higher in detail and show surface features that are not technically in the model, only being introduced through the, the texture and the materiality. So to do that in Photoshop, there's a filter that allows us to manage this. And I'm going to use filter, and let's see, 3D generate normal map. It opens a viewer that lets us kind of rotate around a simple 3D model, in this case a sphere, that is showing the interpretation of this normal map. We have some controls over how much detail is captured, the blur or softness introduced into this normal map. And let's see, let's just try if we... High detail is a little more than I would want. It's going, it's introducing a fair amount of um, kind of feature filtering that, that draws too much attention to the, um, to the normal. I'm actually going to lower this. I think I was thinking this was more in line with, let's say, a 34%. And if I blur, higher blurs are clearly Warping this. Let's see if I zero that out. What am I getting? Yeah, let's do no warp, high detail scale, and I'm going to use the rest of the um, presets here and say OK, and that will generate this normal texture. So now I have in a very organized um, file in Photoshop. I have a number of these features, and let's see, why is this? Not previewing the way I would expect. Hmm. My graphics card is a little wonky right now. Let's just minimize it up again. So I have my normal map. Mm. Looks like the normal generation process has um, disrupted my video card, but we do have a normal texture, and of course we still have our roughness, metalness, and albedo textures, and in my next video I'm going to export these and look at the ways that we can apply them in a specific case study using a, a game engine.